Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy and your favorite Linux gardener, Gardener, the Linux gamer. Um, I really like that comment. That's a great comment. <laughs> uh, I wanted to talk today about the nature of spyware and the, what, what seems to be the digital dystopia that we live in on the web. Uh, I woke up this morning to a tweet from a guy named Unix Fox on Twitter. And um, boy, oh boy, did it get my attention. At the Linux Gamer, here's an interesting article about GoDaddy injecting JavaScript into websites. Uh, there's a link, and then he says, Your website is affected. I just checked the source code of the off-topical website. And it's true. I do host uh, the uh, off-topical website on GoDaddy's shared hosting server. Um, I've had GoDaddy shared hosting for years and years, uh, and it was just a stupid decision I made when I was a dumb kid and I didn't know any better. <laughs> so, yeah, the, the thing is, yeah, off-topical is affected, and I feel really bad about that. Um, so it's interesting because uh, if you go to the link uh, to the website by this guy named Igor Krogman, um, he posted it today. And uh, so what happened was Igor was having trouble with the admin panel on his website that was hosted at GoDaddy. He checked the browser's console and found that there was a JavaScript error. The JavaScript error set off alarm bells because, you know, he didn't recognize the code that was throwing the error. So he thought that there might be like, you know, some malicious actor who had got into his his file system or had like modified his code or something, but he found none of that. And it turns out that the malicious actor is the web host itself. GoDaddy is injecting code spyware into customers' websites without their explicit consent. I find that truly, truly disgusting. So... Igor made this blog post about it. Uh, a couple things of note here is that this code is uh, from GoDaddy. It's called, um, what is it called? It's called RUM or Real User Metrics. So the way he found out about this is actually there's a comment in the code that is being injected that says, monitoring performance to make your website faster. If you want to opt out, please contact web support or web hosting support. So they're using this uh, technology called RUM or real user metrics in order to, quote, identify internal bottlenecks and optimization opportunities by inserting a small snippet of JavaScript code into customers' websites. The only issue with that is, quote, the JavaScript used may cause issues, including slower site performance or a broken slash inoperable website fun. Isn't that just fun, guys? So I've actually experienced this. I run a development version of my website on my server back here. I'm running Apache on my server. It's set up very similarly to how uh, GoDaddy's hosting is. And uh, there have been a couple weird problems that I have never been able to nail down. And I can't say for certain that it's the GoDaddy uh, RUM, uh, real user metrics, uh, tracking code that's causing it but i have the little player on to offtopical.net which is my podcast and uh i can play the uh, i can play the latest episode always just by clicking on it but there are sometimes with some people on certain browsers when they just can't click play on the latest episode player i don't know for sure but there's something weird going on with godaddy so the issue is that GoDaddy is inserting this code. They're injecting it into users, uh, into their customers' websites, and it's known to cause issues or possibly cause issues with their customers' sites. And they're doing this all without getting the explicit permission of their customers. In fact, any U.S. customer or customer with a website hosted on a U.S. in a U.S. data center. They're opted into this by default, uh, you know, and and they don't make it uh, they don't make it particularly clear how to opt out to begin with. Now, I don't think that it's hyperbole to call this kind of tracking code spyware. I've said it before that privacy really comes down to the lowest common denominator, and the fact is, the average person using a web browser they don't realize that Facebook and Google and all these other companies are tracking them everywhere they go across the web, and the fact that there's just another bad actor uh, looking to get in on the on the on the money pie that is user metrics. They don't know. They don't know about this stuff. But but the fact that GoDaddy is injecting this code into their customers' websites, 
I didn't even know that they were doing that with my website. And I've been using GoDaddy for years. I don't like GoDaddy. I just have been using them. I'm moving my entire uh, website hosting over to Linode. Uh, and uh, we'll get to that in a minute. But the fact is, the average person on a computer doesn't know how their computer actually works. They don't understand web browsers. They don't understand how JavaScript uh, or like what kind of uh, information is exposed to JavaScript that can be scraped by a, an, a little uh, snippet and, and sent to whatever uh, nefarious actor requests it. They don't understand these things. They don't know how to use their browser's debug tools to, to, to actually monitor what information is being sent. And to be frank, the average uh, person is probably going to be using a smartphone anyway, so they won't have these tools at their disposal. They won't be able to install extensions that protect their privacy. It, it, there's my refrigerator turning on at the most opportune moment. <laughs> so huge thanks go out to Igor for actually uh, providing straightforward instructions on how to disable this tracking code. It's pretty straightforward. If you want to check out the blog post, and I highly recommend you do because it's an interesting read, uh, there's going to be a link to it down in the description. But uh, we'll walk through disabling this code together. Uh, the first thing you want to do is go to GoDaddy and log in. Uh, then click on Manage on your cPanel hosting. Click the three dots and then select Help Us. Then hit the Opt Out button. Now it's time for some real talk because I, I find this egregious, obviously. I mean, you know, you can probably tell that I'm pretty pissed off about this, but I'm particularly incensed about this because I feel like GoDaddy has made me into a liar somehow, or maybe not a liar, but that I, I have betrayed your trust. So I run off topical and we talk about things that might be considered sensitive topics. Um, people have been requesting and requesting and requesting for me to have SSL encryption, which we just uh, set up recently. And on Off Topical, we have a privacy policy that plainly lays out what kind of information we gather and um, how we gather it and how we use the information. Uh, most relevantly, we talk about the, the stats that we gather through AWSTAT, right? And this all, it all goes through uh, basic uh, server logs and it doesn't track any information using JavaScript. It's all done on the server side. So, you know, rest assured that we're not gathering this information and, and we've never used any of the information. I don't even know if the information that are, is collected through uh, real user metrics is available to, you know, the GoDaddy's customers. Um, so we've never touched any of that. But the fact is GoDaddy was collecting that information without my consent um, without your guys' knowledge. And, and, and I feel like they've made me into a, uh, they've, they've betrayed my trust. They've betrayed your trust in me. And I'm just really upset. I, I, I'm sick of this kind of stuff. I, it's not okay. The fact that they've, they've betrayed trust, it, it just, it blows my mind. I, and I'm, I'm really sorry, everybody, about this. Um, now, I have disabled GoDaddy's spyware, and I didn't actually get a chance to see, uh, to like deconstruct what information they were actually sending. I, sh I should have done it. I, I, was, I was just pissed, and so I went and disabled it really quickly. But suffice it to say that I'm actually moving all of my hosting over to Linode. Um, ba that's basically what I'm doing now. And Linode's a VPS. It lets me uh, uh, manage my own virtual server. I think that's great. And they're not going to pull this kind of crap, which I'm really excited about. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really hope that there's a day someday soon when companies like this won't be uh, getting away with violating user privacy. Um, I, I'm really tired of the opt out data collection schemes and the fact that companies just get away with this. It's so crazy to me that companies can do stuff like this and get away with it. I don't know. I, I want to know what you guys think. I mean, how do you protect your privacy online? How do you defend yourself against attacks like this? Because I really think that this is an attack against your autonomy as, as a person on the internet. And I, yeah. How do you, how do you protect yourself? Let me know in the comments, or you can hit me up on Twitter at the Linux gamer. Um, if you believe in the work that I do, you can support the show with a monthly contribution over on Patreon, or you can uh, pick up a t-shirt. There's a link 
in the description. But no matter what you do, whether you hit that like button or share this video with your friends, don't forget to subscribe to see more from me, The Linux Gamer. And as always, thanks for watching.